Right now I'm going to give you a couple tips and teach you how to do some base repair. So we're going to start with a basic drip PTEX candle method. And they're much softer than a PTEX string or the sticks or the PTEX tape. So you just got to get it burning. So once you got it going, I'll just make sure you have something for it to drip onto. Just let it get going pretty good. And you want to just try to keep the flame as low as possible. You want to stay away from having the orange flame. It tends to create kind of a soot in the plastic. So now we've got our little hole is right here on this one. It's probably pretty hard to see. Um, that's why I'm using a candle. It's just because it's real minor. So I'm just going to clean it off real quick with some sandpaper and kind of rough it up a little bit so that the PTEX will stick. So now that that's done, now that my candle's melting and dripping well, go ahead and drip some in there. You just kind of want to overfill a little bit as it's going to settle down. I'm just going to fill that out. Just kind of push it in. It cools down. And then this is actually what you're going to use a metal scraper for. You want to make sure it's sharp. If your scraper's not sharp, it'll um, pull the PTEX out. Gently scrape it. Make sure your scraper's, like I said, really sharp. Shouldn't take too much pressure. Be as gentle as possible because a metal scraper will damage the base. Put too much on it. That's your fix right there. A little black spot. So if you have some rough sandpaper, you can use the same stuff you used to um, rough up the base. Just kind of pull it across it a few times, going end to end with the board. Um, be gentle though, and it'll add some structure back. You just have to be careful with the drip candles because it's real soft and you'll pull it all out. That's how you do a repair on the base with a drip candle. Next I'm going to teach you, this is my preferred way, this is what I do when I'm at home or um, just to fix small things in the shop a lot, is I use a soldering iron so that I can use a PTEX string, which lasts a lot longer and holds better. It's, a, it's basically base material that I'm going to melt into it. You can see this board actually has a core shot right here. Plastic's sticking up a good bit. So the first step is going to be to get this kind of cleaned out. I just use my pocket knife. Just kind of cut some of the excess plastic that's sticking up off. So you just rough it up first. Kind of get the whole thing there so the PTEX will stick right once again. It's always a good idea to use some base cleaner on your repair. Just a little bit of this in there. Make sure everything's nice and clean. And there's no wax on it. Make sure it, it dries out completely before you try to put PTEX on it. Otherwise, it's not going to work out very well. I have a soldering iron here and it's just a cheap one with a wide tip. It's like 10 bucks anywhere. Now they sell base repair irons, but for most people this will work just fine. So what you want to do is just kind of take your soldering iron and put the string or tape or whatever you're using in there and just slowly melt a little bit in. So you can see it's going to smoke. There's you know, burning melting plastic, so it's a good idea to do it in a well ventilated area. You want to Try not to burn it as much as you can. And so you just carefully fill in the hole and make sure you don't stick the soldering iron on the base of your snowboard as that will instantly scorch it and you'll have a mess. All right, and try to, from whatever side you're gonna be pushing your scraper, try to get it as low as possible so that the scraper doesn't hit too much of a stop because this, this is much, much harder than the drip candles. You cut through. So just start off real gentle because like I said, you can pull it out, and it is going to take a little bit of time to get this worked down. Sometimes you just get little bubbles around the edge, and it's a good idea just to cut them off with a pocket knife or a razor blade or something. Just take your time and don't rush and try to take too much off at a time. Just carefully so you don't gouge your out your base as I was saying and just shave that little bit of fuzz that's adhering on there. That's it. So a base repair that'll last a long time. 
I like to take a file that has teeth on the edges, cut right over that little pattern, right over your repair, and just kind of create some kind of a base structure for wax to stick to, because it won't stick to the repair if it's completely smooth. So we do that, and then um, just hit it up very lightly with some sandpaper. And you can actually make your, your repair have a base structure that will almost completely match the structure on the board. So it was originally there like that. So that's it. And then you just have to wax it up. This is Vicente and I just taught you how to do some base repair.